just going to have a look at the 2.5 Duotech that we're fitting in the Zero, that we're also fitting in the, the Mark II Escort and we're supplying it to go in a lot of other cars um, in rear wheel drive applications. Um, so this is the, the base engine as we get it supplied to us from the Ford Motor Company. Um, really nice engine. Um, it's the 2.5 version from the States. Um, full alley block. I had portings on the, on the engine are really big. Um, so it'll enable you to get 200 horsepower out of the standard engine on the throttle bodies. Um, and then we've got a lot of other ancillary parts that go on um, that we modify to make it fit our application. Um, so we swap the sump because the standard sumps, um, as you can see, quite low. And then it's got um, balance shafts and balance weights in there. So we do a shortened sump that goes on. We've also got a different oil housing that goes on that moves the oil filter and gives us the ports for the oil pressure and the oil temperature. We take off the breather plate on the side and we've got a nice plate that goes on there. It makes it a bit nicer. We've also got a module that goes on there to run fly by wire on your throttle bodies if you want to. We then do uh, water pump pulleys, uh, idlers and a, a really nice little alternator kit using the 45 amp Denso alternator. Um, on the exhaust side, uh, we've got a few different options, whether we just supply with a flange and we can do all the pipe work or we do a nice 41 manifold. Um, the engine has also got BVT on it as standard, which we utilise. Um, you're getting about 196 pound-feet of torque on the standard engine um, and using the BVT it really fills in the torque in the mid-range, uh, which is very noticeable in the car. Um, mounting points, we've got the mounting point here. And the same on this side, we can supply you with the flanges or we've got dedicated mounts to suit um, different applications. Um, clutch and flywheel options, a um, few different options there. Generally we run a light and flywheel as standard, a 3.7 kilo flywheel uh, on a standard clutch. But we've also got the options to run a full paddle uh, race clutch with an alley cover and a few different options which you can advise you on depending on your application. Um, so that's basically that the engine and then we'll do some other little videos covering the parts that go onto it. So just have a look at the gearbox we use um, in the Zero and also on the Escort and other rear wheel drive applications. This is a brand new Master NC gearbox uh, that was originally fitted in the Mark III MX-5s. Uh, really nice box, full alley casing, 5 speed, um, quite a bit lighter, a lot stronger than your Type 9s, NT75s and that. Um, we run this as it is, we do um, a nice little uh, quick shift and extend it, moves it back if you need it or it goes straight on. We've got all the prop shafts, gearbox mounts, um, we've done all the clutch uh, safe cylinders and we've done quite a nice uh, billet aluminium one with different bore sizes, so depending on what type of clutch you've got and what force you need. Um, we can alter the, the diameter there to alter your force. Um, this is a direct fit to the Geotech. So it will bolt straight on, there's no adapters or anything that's needed, so it's an OE fit. Um, then we're using either a standard clutch or a performance clutch, standard starter motor. Um, that's about it on the gearbox and we'll have a look at the individual bits as we put it all together as an assembly. Gonna have a look at the 2.5 Duotech that we're fitting into the Zero full component kit and the factory built cars. Um, so this is the the Ford 2.5 engine that we're getting from the from the US, um, and then we're just gonna have a look at some of the components on it. Um, so when the engine comes in, uh, we remove the standard sump, and there's balance shafts. We then swap this for our own shortened billet sump, and there's also a delete kit that blocks the oil way for the balance shafts on the engine. We've then got on the front of the engine um, aluminium water pump pulley, belt tensioner and alternator kit, really nice billet brackets again and the adjusters on here um, in your six groove belt. That's your bracket straight on there. We've got an oil housing that goes on. This moves the oil filter up. It also gives us the two bosses, one for the oil pressure, one for the oil temp. Standard starter motor blanking plate on the side, um, also a little bump there on the water pipe and then we've got a water elbow there that then goes straight onto the aluminium radiator. We've got our throttle body assembly, um, which is a direct 
direct ahead, um, 45 mil. This one's running um, dash six fittings on the fuel lines, or you can have push on. In the top of the head, we've got the injector blanking bungs. These block the holes where the original injectors fit, and they're just a, um, a tap-in fit. We've got our fuel regulator running at three bar on this engine with the Bosch green injectors. Come around the back of the engine, got a little blanking plate for the EGR valve that just blocks it so the exhaust gas is coming out. We've then got our thermostat housing on top in there. This is coupled to the Mazda NC gearbox. We've got a light and flywheel that we've run a standard now, which is a 3.7 kilo flywheel, which is a lot lighter than the standard one, makes quite a big difference to the car and the way it drives. Um, onto a standard clutch, um, release arm and everything from Mazda. Then on the back of the gearbox, we've got our own gear linkage. This replaces the Mazda lever. It moves the gear lever back, so it's a bit nicer in the car, more ergonomic position. Um, and it also has a small, a shorter ratio in it, so it gives you a, a quicker shift. On the gearbox, there's a couple of areas that you have to trim. So on the side here, there's two lugs that stick out on the Mazda, uh, for mounting in the Mazda. These get removed on there. There's two on this side here. Just get trimmed, just to give ourselves a little bit more clearance. And on the bottom of the gearbox, we just trim it level with the sump so it's not sitting below. Uh, on the top of the engine, on the cam cover, um, we've got the nice little dressing kit rather than the standard bolts, just looks a bit nicer and tidies it all up. Coil on plug we're running, oil cap. The standard um, Ford oil cap's quite high. Um, we replaced that with our own um, shortened oil cap. So we trim that down. And there's an alley boss that bonds in and then your new oil cap, which gives you the bonnet clearance. Then there's a little blanking bung there for the breather and then we put a new breather on the side of the engine with a dash 10 fitting that has a 90 degree on it that then goes into the catch tank on the front of the chassis. Um, that's the main points on the engine. Um, and we'll look at one going in a car later on.